Yeah, I mean, we talked about last night. Yeah, I mean, it, it just goes to show you we, we we addressed some of the things that we were talking about last night after the game. We addressed them today, and um, as you can see, there was no quit. Um, these guys are talented. We've got a good group of guys here. Um, they showed early on in the season that they can come back, but sometimes you you get into a little bit of a doubt mode, and and it makes you a little passive. Um, tonight there was nothing passive about what we did. We were aggressive on the bases, we were aggressive in the box, we were aggressive on the mound. Um, and with the exception of Hector, who Hector's done a great job for us up to this point, but he had a rough night. He couldn't find his fastball. Maybe the rain delay had something to do with it, but he'll be better for that next time. Um, but tonight we just played an aggressive game and we didn't quit. The game wasn't over till the ninth inning when we got the third out. Do you think the play with uh, when Moore you waved him around, we scored from first on the single to center. Was that kind of set the tone for you? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I was looking for any way to show these guys that we're going to be aggressive. And if these guys are going to give us runs, we're going to take them. They gave us that run. But i got to give credit to Moore on that. If he doesn't stay at full speed and play the game hard, I can't send him. He put me in position to be able to do that. But it went right along with what we talked about today and how we wanted to come out in this game. We're not going to assume anything. We're going to assume that they're going to mess up because we're going to put pressure on them and force them to make mistakes. We didn't force them to mess up right there, but they had a mental lapse and we took advantage of it. And it just let them know, you better play your best game or you're not going to beat us tonight. Well, uh, it kind of goes along with Whit Tolman, even there in the eighth uh, when you are taking the 5-4 lead, but you know he's hustling all the way on with two outs on a routine ground ball to first, beats it out, and gives you an extra insurance run. You always love that cushion. Um, one run's good, but two runs is better. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's no quit. Even if you don't do exactly what you're trying to do in there, once you hit the ball, your job is to run to first base. And he did his job. He ran all the way through first base. They messed up. We assumed they were going to mess up because we're pressuring them. He gets through the bag and we steal another free run. Do you want to talk about uh, Moore and Hill's at-bats? Hill is giving us very consistent at-bats. He is hitting the ball. I mean, it's hard to explain how hard he's hitting the ball. But I mean, there's some, I haven't seen too many balls hit like that. I mean, we're at an A ball level here. I'm talk, I've am seen I've seen all the way up to the big league level. He hits the ball just like they do. Um, it comes off and it's loud. Um, and, when he, and, and when he squares it up, man, is it, it's loud. It's impressive. Um, and then more, he's just been, he's been consistent for us too. He kind of gets those hits that we need. Um, he, he seems to find holes when we need them. And, um, Consistent at bats. He's given us consistent at bats. That's why they're at the top of the lineup right now. Um, they're proving that they can handle that spot, and they're producing. Very, very good to see. Um, and if I could say one more thing, the, the player we missed was Minier. Um, he's the player of the game for us. Um, without him coming in to to help Hector and go those scoreless innings, we're not even in that position. So he did his job and put our aggressive offense in position to win the game late. He, he's player of the game for me.